I have two more garage lights here. I'm going to compare the ratings in the literature to what I measure on this meter right here. I'm also going to get out my light meter and measure the lux at one meter and see an approximation of how many lumens these are actually putting out. That's coming up on Thrifty AV. I picked up two more shop lights at Ollie's. Uh, they're both GT light brand. This one was priced at $9.99, this one at $7.99. Uh, this is a four panel. It claims 15,000 lumens using 130 watts. And this is a five panel uh, that claims 8,000 lumens using 82 watts. Now I can measure this wattage using this meter right here. I can get the exact amount of wattage these are pulling. Now measuring lumens, that's a little trickier. Uh, I can measure lux with this light meter here and using the distance and the beam angle I can get a rough conversion of the lumens uh, so I'll know if this is in the ballpark or not. Let's get these out of the boxes. That is rather large. And of course these fold down. That is not plastic. That feels like aluminum. A lot of the times with these garage lights, uh, the housing around the LEDs is plastic. This feels a little more sturdy. And of course it has the Edison plug. Whoops, kind of boogered that box up. Now this one's quite a bit smaller. Fewer LEDs on each panel, but it does have this middle part here that will shine directly. Uh, I'm not sure what the material is on these panels, but uh, it feels pretty sturdy. That might be aluminum too. Looking at the specs, these appear a little bit different as far as the LEDs. This one has an LED lifespan of 50,000 hours, and this one is 30,000. And the color temperature is different. This is 5,000K and this is 6,500K. My Panasonic HCX1000 has color temperature setting and a neutral density filter. I have the neutral density filter maxed out at 164th. I have the color temperature at 5000K, which matches the light over here on the right. This should look white, and the one on the left over here should look a little bit bluish because its color temperature is 6500. Now I'm going to adjust the color temperature on the fly here. I'm going up to 6500K and now the light on the left should look white and the one on the right should be a little bit yellowish although the intensity of the light on the right is so strong that it might not look so yellow because the intensity is probably might be pushing it up to white. I'll see in post-production. I'm going to start with a five panel light that has LEDs in the center too. This one's rated at 82 watts. It's actually pulling a little bit more than that, 82.8 ish watts, which I would say that's truth in advertising. Way more honest than some of the ones I tested earlier this year. I can't measure lumens directly, but I can measure lux. With all other light sources in this room turned off, including my computer monitors, the 82 watt five panel garage light is reading about 1,841 lux. With the brighter four panel light with a color temperature of 5,000 K, I'm getting 117.6 watts when it is rated at 130 watts. Now this has had time to warm up so we should be getting the rated wattage if we're ever going to get it right now. This one's falling a little bit short. On the four panel light that's rated at 130 watts, I'm getting 3,908 lux. Last time I used the lux to lumen calculator, I set the beam angle to 90 degrees. Because these LEDs are unfocused, they just have a little 
uh, lens in front of them and they have a pretty wide dispersion pattern but it's really wider than 90 degrees so I'm gonna set the beam angle to a hundred degrees this time and see what I get when I do my conversion with a lux rating of 1841 a beam angle of a hundred degrees and a distance of one meter the 82 watt lamp calculated to 8210 lumens that's pretty accurate the four panel light had a lux rating of 3908 with a beam angle of 100 degrees and a distance of one meter it calculated to 17,428 lumens when it was rated at 15,000 lumens so this was impressive so in conclusion these GT light brand garage lights were not only a good deal where I bought them at Ollie's the specifications as far as wattage and lumens were way more accurate than some of the ones I tested that I got off of Amazon. Now I did find a GT light store on Amazon, but I did not see their garage lights listed. However, after uh, such a good experience with these lights, I might try out some of their other designs and order them from Amazon. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel. And remember, stay thrifty, everyone.